secrets today i'm going to show you how to make a vietnamese um, vermicelli bowl so these are your typical rice noodles these cook for seven minutes they also have other um, noodles called like bean thread and they cook much faster so i already cooked the noodles they're soft and they're cooled down and i also cooked some shrimp to go along with that so you want to build your bowl by first putting some chopped up lettuce I'm just going to go ahead and put my noodles and shrimp on top. Test looking so far. Right here I have some diced Persian cucumbers. Or baby cucumber. So I have some cilantro and green onion just finely chopped. And I'm going to go ahead and place this on top. I'll uh, just put it right here on the side. Usually, uh, Vietnamese on uh, rice noodle bowl doesn't come with avocado, but I'm gonna put half an avocado. So I like this a lot. So I just place the avocado on top of the lettuce. And next, you want to take some peanuts and just crush them up in a bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and pound these with this little meat pounder right here. And this meal is so good; it's really filling and. You can make, you can eat half now and half later. It's good for breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's really great. So my peanuts are all crushed up there. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this one on top. There you go. It's such a great texture. You got, you got the crisp from the vegetables, the smooth set of the avocado, the, the little noodles, and the. Just everything is just so good. It's just a mixture of textures and flavors. It's amazing. Okay, so this bowl is good, but it's not good until we got the nukmam. And nukmam is just the secret sauce is the fish sauce and lemon juice and sugar. But I always add some garlic and some chili in mine. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. This is that secret sauce that you get at Vietnamese restaurants and it's really good. It goes on everything. You just wanna drown it with it. So I'm gonna show you how to make that right now. So you're gonna have fish sauce. You can't just put the fish sauce only because it's so salty. So we we'll go ahead and put the lemon, a whole lemon in there. Or lime, you can put lemon or lime. If you have a tiny lime, you might wanna put two limes in there. A lot of people hate fish sauce because they think it smells bad, but I don't mind it. I love it. I'm gonna put my um, lemon in here. This makes it much easier to catch all the seeds. Next, we add a spoon, about two spoons of sugar. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's just my kids. It's really noisy here. They already had their lunch, but I felt like making myself something extra special today. So you just want to stir up the sugar. And so you don't have any more crunchiness on the bottom of the sugar crystals. If you want, you can even take a, a, a tiny bit of burning hot water and uh, mix up your sugar and then put it in there. It all faster. Okay, so that's very close. I love this garlic fresh because it takes, it saves you a lot of time so you don't have to mince your garlic so much and it just, it does it so fast. Fresh this. Just scrape all that garlic off. Okay, so there's my garlic, and you can skip the garlic and the chili pepper because I'm if you don't like that, but I just like to add a little extra to get extra extra flavor on my fish sauce or my nick mom. Oh, and if you're at a Vietnamese restaurant, um, if you say fish sauce, they might just give you straight fish sauce, but you gotta say nook mom if you want it prepared like this. Here's the Thai chili, finely chopped. You can do jalapeno or a different chili if you don't like how how much heat this gives your sauce. Okay, now this is ready to go. I did the, um, my nook mom and it's still a little too salty, so I'm gonna add another spoon of sugar. This should, now this should be perfect. The perfect amount of sugar. The fish sauce is super salty, so this tones down that saltiness along with the lemon juice. If it's still too salty, instead of adding more of the sugar, you're gonna dilute it with a little bit of water. So I added just a tiny bit of water to dilute it so I won't have to keep adding more and more sugar. Mm, that tastes great. All done. Now 
it's time to eat my lunch. And I think I may have um, ate a, made a little too much of this, so I'm probably going to take another bowl and half now and half later. I spilled some of this up because I made too much. Oops, my baby loves this cucumber. Hey baby, cucumber. Now I'm just go ahead and um, top it with that delicious nook mum. So good. These chilies are really hot to eat directly. So if you want, you can just use them for the heat of the sauce, but avoid picking them up and putting them on your noodle. I don't mind one or two, but too many, oh, you'll be crying. It's really hot. So you get a little bit of that sauce, mix up on everything, and there you go. It's all finished. This is just how you would eat it. It's really good. Like everything you need in the bowl right there. Thanks for watching again. Give us a try. So thanks for watching. This is really good. It has all the flavor and all the texture. I feel like I uh, just ate at a beginner's restaurant. It's really great. Thanks for watching.